hello and welcome to my channel let's solve this beautiful geometry problem together let's read it first we are given this diagram and we are told that b and c are points on the circumference the circumference is just the outer part of the circle so you see that that's where you can find your b and c on the surface of the circle now we also told and o is the center of the circle just as you can see the lines a b and a c this is a b this is a c are tangents i'm going to explain that more they are tangents to the circle then the question says calculate the length a o you want to know from here to this point that's what you want to find from here a to o so how do we get it and that's the question let's do this together is this something you can do i'm going to take you through it step by step and if you are a returning viewer thank you for choosing to learn through us if you are still new hit that subscription button we have a lot for you don't forget to like this video and let's do this together to have to find this length a o what do you do you just need to observe that if just watch carefully you see this is the center of the circle from the center to the circumference is the radius from the center to the circumference is the radius. So this is your radius and this is your radius. And one thing about radius is that radii are the same. So what it means is that this line is equal to this line. Now, what other thing do you need to know? You need to know that this question said that this line is a tangent. If this line is a tangent and this one also is a tangent, it reminds us that Whenever you have two tangents coming together at a point, those two tangents are always the same. So it means that this line is also the same with this line. Now, what shape does it look like? Just watch. If you look at this shape, just watch this shape. What do we have here? This is your quadrilateral. And if you bring that shape out, it looks this way. Now, when you have a quadrilateral that has these two sides to be the same, and these two tells to be the same. What kind of quadrilateral is this? This is simply your kite. And if this is kite, it reminds you of properties of a kite. You know that for a kite, that this diagonal line here, this diagonal line bisects the angle formed at this point. So if it bisects it, remember the total angle here is 72. And this diagonal line bisects it, dividing it equally. It means that this part is going to be 72 divided by 2, which will give us 36 degrees. So here is going to be 36, and here should also be 36. So if this part is 36 degrees, will it help us to find the value of this? Will it help us to find the length of AO? Yes. Let's go back. Now, looking at this also, you find out that from the radius touching the tangent of a circle, remember that whenever you have a circle drawn and this radius comes in contact with the tangent, it always makes angle 90. So if this is true, it means that you form angle 90 between this radius and the point of contact where it makes contact with the tangent. So it forms angle 90 here. And if it forms angle 90 here, it will help us to answer the question. So to answer this question, let's bring this part of the shape out. So bringing it out, we are having, this is what we have. It's right angles here. Here is 15 centimeters. And this is the length we want to find. Now to find this, this angle is already 36 degrees. So how do you find this length? You just need to remember that this has formed your right triangle. And whenever you have a right angle triangle and you are working with the sides and the angle, just remember to use your trigonometric ratio. Now, using your trigonometric ratio, which of them are you going to make use of? Now, we have it that this part is where the angle is formed. So the side opposite to it is the opposite side. The side we are looking for is directly opposite to this angle 90, the, the hypotenuse. Now, when you have hypotenuse, when you are looking for the edge and you have O, go to this. Which one has O and H? That means we'll use sine. 
So we we'll neglect these two. So making of our sine, we now have sine 36 degrees will be the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. So from here, to get H, we multiply both sides by H. So we have H multiplied by sine 36. If you multiply this, it gives you 15. So what do you do? To get H, you divide both sides by sine 36. So let's do it here. We now have H will give us 15 divided by sine 36 degrees. So what do you do? H will give us 15 divided by, let's get the value of sine 36 to have. So we have 0 0.5879. So quickly divide this, it gives us H is equal to 15 divided by this. We give us 25.51888. Now we are asked to approximate to one decimal place. So it means that, remember our H is this side. So it means that length AO is going to give us, is approximated to 25.5 centimeters to one decimal place. And I hope you learned something. Don't forget to tell us how much, like and share this video. If you are still new, hit that subscription button. We have a lot for you every day. Thank you for choosing to learn to us. I will be curious to see your own method in the comment section. You can ask questions, I'll be there with you. I hope to see you in my next class. Have a beautiful day. Bye.